Welcome everyone. I am Dr. Mary Jean Holt, Wellness Manager at Hexpo Compounding, and I'm delighted today to be uh, initiating a wellness conversation with our guest, Ellen Cluck, who's visiting our Dyersburg campus. Uh, Ellen is the Director of Purchasing here at Hexpo, and she is also a competitive runner. And I've been wanting to have a conversation with uh, Ellen for some time now, and when, when I realized she was on the campus, uh, I asked her if she would uh, give us just a few moments to speak with us so that we could share with you some of her experiences as a competitive runner and, and the benefits of incorporating uh, some type of aerobic activity. For her particularly, it's running, but a, a physical activity, an aerobic activity, every day as part of a wellness lifestyle. So Ellen, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here and uh, delighted and grateful for your willingness to share with us your experiences. And first of all, you know, as a baby jogger, I want to <laughs> honor uh, the fact that you are a competitive runner and you've been doing this for some time. So would you like to tell us a little bit about your history? How sure. you got interested in running? How long you've been running? Sure. Kind of thing. Um, so I would use the word competitive very, very loosely. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I enjoy to run. Um, I enjoy racing. I think it's fun. I'm never in the top. I never win prizes, but I do it for myself. So it's really yes. fun. So competitive, yes. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but still. Uh -huh. um, so I got into running probably 10, 11 years ago. Um, after I graduated college, I had quite a bit of weight I needed to lose. I, I probably had a little too much fun in college, ate a lot of junk food and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I, I started eating a little bit better, but I needed that extra little oomph yes. to get to where I wanted to be. So I said, mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna start running. Mm -hmm. um, and I started a, the program Couch to 5K. So if you Google that, they can have a 12 week um, process. So it's run for a minute, walk for two minutes, run for a minute, walk for two minutes. So it kind of oh. eases you into that. But the more and more I ran, the more and more I enjoyed it. I found that it was kind of my time where I could be with myself, be with my own thoughts, and, and really work through some some things that I had to work through, just thinking and yes. And sometimes just zoning out is, is always a good thing too for your mind. Absolutely. Um, so after that, I, I ran more and more, and I, I said, okay, I'm gonna keep pushing myself. So I would do a 5K, and then I did a 10K, and then I said, all right, I'm gonna do the half marathon. So I did that a couple of times. Um, now I've done, I think, 13 half marathons. Wow. And then I kind of was bored. I said, what am I gonna do next? All right, I guess I'm gonna have to do the full. Yes. So I've done four full marathons now. Um, the last one did not go exactly how I thought it would go. <laughs> I finished, but I did not meet my goal. So I'll probably do one more and then I'll probably be done with the full. It's sort uh -huh. of, it is quite the training process and it takes a lot of time Yes. and energy. Yes, I only know of people that have trained. Yeah. <laughs> I did run one but 10K yeah. and I'm just, it was like amazing I got through it. No, that's good. That's but, all you need is yes. get started. Well, so. that's true. And would you tell us again uh, the program that you... It's called Couch to 5K. Couch to 5K. Um, and it's, I think they have an app and you can kind of find it and print it off yourself and kind okay. of, it's nice. The app's nice because yes. they say, okay, now it's time to walk. Yeah. So like dings or something. And yeah. But this, it helps you get back into it. Yes, and this is great because my next question was to ask you what uh, what you would like to share with our associates who may be interested in just starting out with running. Sure. So couch to 5K sounds perfect. Or those of us that want to just get re-inspired to start again now that the holidays are over and most of us are paying more attention to our wellness lifestyle uh, choices <laughs> and our goals for the new year. So. I would say find a program that works for you, find, mm -hmm. don't go in, you know, don't do too much at once, you don't want to hurt yourself. Right. Um, find a buddy, yes. if you have somebody that can really hold you accountable. I recently joined a running group, I used to kind of be by myself, and, yes. and now I have a group of friends that I meet every Sunday morning, and we go run, and then we have coffee, and it's great. Yes. Um, so just find that type of accountability, but usually for me, the, the programs, work pretty well because it tells you what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming up with a plan, okay, this day I have to do this many miles. And I, I usually, there's a lot of good stuff out on the internet that you can find a good program. Right. But really just get started, do, yes. do something. Do yes. something every day. You don't have to run every day, but just move. Right, get so, your shoes on. Yeah, exactly, yes. even if you're walking, it's 
It's yeah. better than sitting. Yes, absolutely. I love this. So here's another question that just comes up. I know when I, the first time I started jogging, which was interesting, someone uh, that was, uh, who was it I met? It was one of these people who was in my life very briefly, and one of the things that was so beautiful about just having met him, uh, he taught me to jog. He was uh, very athletic, and I was wanting to learn to run. He said, yeah, yeah, let's go. And it was wonderful that I had his uh, coaching because he was very big on going slow, don't go too fast. And he was promoting going for, um, was it distance instead of time? How do you look at that when you're starting out? Or do you go for time versus distance? It probably just depends. Um, obviously, you want to, if you have a goal in mind to finish a 5K, you you have to finish it. Oh, Even right. if you go 30 minutes and you need 35, it, you, it's the distance. Mm -hmm. So I typically will train on a distance. Uh -huh. um, but for just starting out? Just starting out, I, try five minutes. Because uh -huh. you don't know how long, fast you're going to be. Right. So get your time in there and okay. get your heart rate up and get mm -hmm. and get moving. Okay, okay. But take breaks when you need to take breaks too. Yes. And, and I would suggest maybe if you're just starting out, don't go too much with the speed. Really yeah. uh, go slowly so that you could talk with someone if, if someone and, was with and you. And that's what they say is if you can continue, you can um, maintain a conversation yes. and you're not gasping for breath, right. then you're, yeah. you're doing okay. Yes. You want that steady rhythm. Yes, and it'll rhythm. last longer. Yeah. yeah, good, this is great. W what else, do you have anything to say about uh, stretching? We talked about that, that maybe it's I, good, but It's a bad habit that I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a good habit I don't have, I should say. Yes. And anything about just safety, what time of day you run? So I'm a morning runner. I usually get up about 5.15 and I go. Um, if you're going outside, you're going to want a, a lit up vest. Yes. Um, I have one that's called Knox Gear. It runs on batteries and it looks like those glow sticks that you break. Yes. And it's just like a little thing and it's it's really bright. Yes. So I, after I got it, I instantly felt safer. Yes. Even though I'm on sidewalks and everything, it's still dark and people are backing out of their driveways. And, Things so you, like that. So you just run a neighborhood? Yeah, pretty much. That's typically where I go mm -hmm. throughout my neighborhood. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And if shoes? Shoes. Um, if yeah. you're going to get serious into it, I would go to a running store and I would get fitted for shoes. Right. Because you can run on the treadmill there and they can kind of say, all right, you're, you have this going on with the way you run and right. you might want this and this insert and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But really, if you're just getting started, I mean, just get a a good sturdy pair of shoes. Right, right, right. Something that's comfortable for you. Right. Doesn't have to be super expensive. Exactly. Something good and supportive for your feet. Well, and that's what I like about running too is it doesn't really cost anything. That's right. So you get that's a pair right. of shoes, you some shorts and a shirt, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. Excellent, excellent yeah. uh, point there. Um, how about diet? Do you want to tell us about do you do you do you notice the food that you eat, does it affect your endurance or your recovery time? Are you strict with your diet as a runner or not really? So my diet is far from perfect. Yeah, and that's fine. That's <laughs> far fine. from perfect. Yes, yes, most of us um, are the same way. But I eat, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, um, a lot of grains, and then a lean protein, yes. typically. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I, I do enjoy a good cheeseburger now and again, but yes. um, that's life. But yeah, when you, you need to have your lean protein and you need to have some carbs, mm -hmm. and then that should keep you going for mm -hmm. sure. And hydration? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, a lot yes. of a lot of water. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah. you look fabulous, oh, and, and I can tell when everyone's got you know your skin. Our skin is always a good indicator of our overall health, and I would have guessed that you drink a lot of water and you have a great diet. <laughs> I try. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful complexion. So, um, is there anything else that you would like to share that might be beneficial for our associate? Um, I would just say if. If it's something that you want to do and kind of really keep moving, it just get started. You yes. can you can start by just walking. Yes. So I think set a goal and just say, okay, by June I want to do you know X, be able to run X amount of miles and just yes. gradually work up to it. Yeah. But right. um, it does it, it elevates your mood. It gives yes. you more energy, and I find that the days that I, I take off or a rest day that I, I actually am a little more sluggish. Yes. So just this is moving, good. for yes. sure. And 
I bet that you notice you sleep better too. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the first things when people ask me, you know, how you know sleep is such a problem. My first question, oh, you exercise. Exactly. You need <laughs> to use the energy. So <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, Ellen, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for your time. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, I'm so glad you've been with us here in Dyersburg. And all of you, let's think about including aerobic exercise in our wellness lifestyle. And if you have any other questions, I'm sure that Ellen would be happy to answer them for you. So you could uh, email her at any time, or you can actually email, email to us here in Dyersburg, and we'll be sure and get her any questions for you. Okay, everybody have a great day. Hexpole chooses wellness. Bye now. Thanks.